We did it! Oh my god! <laughs> we yeah, are yes, here. Yes, you did. And we're on YouTube too. Thank you. Why is this taking so long? <laughs> here we go. Do do do. <laughs> I was like, you know, if we got if we got Leah to be the babysitter here, I would definitely have to beef up the Wi-Fi here so that she could record like because this is like a studio in here so it'd be like she's like okay i'm off like as soon as we get home from work we're like okay <laughs> we take care of the kids and then she comes back down here and cheats pity <laughs> anyway um uh, yeah okay. she definitely will be able to help out with kids and stuff uh i'm telling you we are ready to do this we are ready to finally do a thing Guild Ball Intermediate Tutorial. Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to our Guild Ball Intermediate Tutorial. Um, I'm going to be here with Nelson. Hello everyone. <laughs> and we have we have corrupted him. <laughs> or we're going to attempt to corrupt Nelson by teaching him Guild Ball. Oh, the beautiful, is... beautiful sport. I have resisted so long, but we all know Octave is a patient game. zero here, so... <laughs> It is the game of games, the king of kings. Gosh. Okay, so for those of you who um, aren't familiar with Guild Ball, Guild Ball is a skirmish sports game by Steamforge Games. Um, it plays like rugby. Um, a lot of uh, us dirty Americans will call it soccer, <laughs> but actually it's uh, eh, similar, similar to soccer or rugby. The goal of the game uh, is to score points by kicking goals, kicking uh, this ball here at a goal token. We don't have nice goal tokens because we're just playing the demo set. Um, and that will score you four points. Uh, you can also win the game by just beating up players. Uh, this game does incorporate a kind of a lo-fi um, steampunk Gangs of New York style uh, feel to it. Uh, so we're talking about uh, uh, guilds of players or players, I'm sorry, teams that represent the various guilds of uh, you know different tradesmen and different associations, and uh, they play out this sport for fortune and glory and all that good stuff. Okay, so some basic things about the game: it is played on a three by three pitch. Um, you can play on any sort of three by three board if you like. However, we like to use the fancy one here um, that has all the lines and everything marked out. Essentially, the only thing you really need to know is that the, uh, the each goal is uh, set at six inches. Uh, from the the um, from the edge of the board, and it is exactly uh, all the way down the middle line there. Uh, and then the other part of it is the players deploy at 10 inches from the side of the board. Okay, so we're just going to get through it, and we're going to start playing. I'll explain things as we go, because that's kind of how I do it. Some people don't like that style of demo, but I like to get us up and going. I don't like people staring at cards and asking me every keyword. <laughs> <laughs> Had a I bad concur. experience. I <laughs> so anyways, oh, hardly. <laughs> so we're going to start with, uh, you typically start with a uh, with a die roll, but I really like the coins. Right. Coins are really nice. So uh, I have a coin here that's got plate painted on one side, and it's got guild ball on the other side. And uh, since Nelson is going to be our, our guest here, I'm going to have him call it. Called Guild Ball. Guild Ball. And he gets Guild Ball, which is All perfect. Right. So, Nelson, my coin likes you. <laughs> my coin hates Mark. <laughs> but anyways, so let's go ahead and, and go with the setup. Um, in order to play Guild Ball, you do need a team of players, and it's six players, okay? So you always need uh, one captain. In this case, uh, my captain is... Ooh, my captain is going to be Tapper. Uh, and then you have a mascot. Typically, not all teams have a mascot. There's a brand new team that does not use mascots. Um, so you have a captain and a mascot. Uh, in, in my case, it's Tapper and Scum. In uh, Nelson's case, he's playing the Mason. So he's his captain is what we can't see. Uh, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit so we can. So you're playing Honor and uh, Marbles. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then, so it's a captain, a mascot, and then four players, uh, typically mm -hmm. from the same guild. You can field union, certain specific union players for um, for your team. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is, because I'm the kicking player, I set up my team first. Although I think they changed that. I don't remember. I'm still going to play it this way. So if you guys, one of you other pundits can be like, dude, you should know that. 
Just leave me a comment. Hello, Congo. <laughs> What's up, Congo? What I miss? You haven't missed anything yet, dude. We're uh, we're teaching Nelson how to play guild ball. Yeah. Yes. Octave's being uh, patient zero again. <laughs> I'm gonna infect Nelson with another game. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay. So so I'm gonna set up the kicking team. Uh, you, at least historically, would set their team up first. Okay. Um, and we set up our team right along this line here. We're not gonna use any. Uh, well, Throw a couple of pieces of terrain just to make it somewhat interesting. Like nothing too major, just to like a couple. That's actually the only piece of terrain I seem to have here. Oh, you got one there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. We'll do like yeah. We'll do stuff like that. That'll work. Okay. Um, so I set up along this line here. This is 10 inches from the board edge. And I would put um, all my players along that line. There is a strategy to this typically. I'll help you um, with your deployment because I love the Masons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that I would set up my team like that. And then, ooh, no kitty should be, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to give one of the players the ball, okay? Masons go first. They are actually receiving. So, um, teach so, me how. <laughs> so I'm going to give one of the players the ball, and that player in this instance is going to be Stave. So I got the big dude, Stave. He's going to be performing the kick at the start of the game. Okay, so he he is the kicking player, and I denote that by sticking the ball near Stave. A couple things to note about the ball. Anytime you have a free ball on the pitch. Um, at any point, if at any point during their movement, a player moves within one inch of the ball, they can take possession of that ball. They just snap it too. Once a, p a player has possession of the ball, the physical location of the ball does not matter. It's just, you just have the ball there to denote that's the player who has the ball. Okay? Um, and then there are rules for, like, if it's a contested ball, if multiple players are trying to uh, get at the ball. So I'm going to help you with your deployment. Okay. I'm going to give you this you, cool thing. Um, here's how I typically like to deploy the Masons, just so you know. Um, so this guy here, Mallet, is one of my favorite players in the whole game, actually. He has a really cool aura. It's four inches, football legend, which is really nice. We like to play off of that. Uh, and you're kind of doing it right. This is pretty, pretty good deployment already. You can, four inches is a really good... Barometer. The only guy who really doesn't need much of the four inches is uh, Handsome Flint out there. He's a good-looking man. Everybody knows this. Flint is a handsome, handsome dude. <laughs> um, so we're going to do that. Okay, that's a good typical style deployment for Masons. Is you want it? They do, but they tend to bunch up because they're, they're the synergy team. So being around each other makes them uh, better. Okay. And, and I'll just go over stuff as we go. Okay, so now we, we do the kickoff. Uh, the kickoff happens before the game act is actually played. Now, um, the kickoff usually involves a jog and then a kick. I know, it's very complicated. <laughs> um, the way you know how far you can jog is you have this movement stat. It's two different movement stats. The first number is your jog, and the second number is your run slash sprint. So with a free jog, you can see that Stave here is going to move four inches. So I can move him four inches to there. Right. Whoop. Keep those guys there. And then I can kick the ball. So his kick is a whole... Oh crap, I did it wrong. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. His kick is a one-six, meaning he can kick the ball up to six inches. I'm going to kick it away from Flint because Flint is stupidly good with the ball. Uh, and then I would put the center of the ball marker out at six, just like that. And then we would put a, we're going to put a kick scatter template on the ball. And you can see I'm in need of a new kick scatter template because it's all beat up. Uh, when you place the kick scatter template, you want this center line kind of lined up with the model kicking, right? Because you want that pathway to go that way. Let me get some more dice. 
It's always good to have more dice. Oh no, we're not going to use my fancy dice. <laughs> Those are expensive dice. Um, there we go. I'll use some plate painted dice. All Ooh. right. Okay. So, uh, so now I have to roll to see if the if the kick is accurate. Four plus means it's accurate, and I have a kick of one six, meaning I roll one die, and it's a six inch kick. One die for accuracy, meaning that dude is not a very accurate kicker, and but it's accurate in this case. So if you roll an accurate kick, that means you can re-roll the scatter if you don't like it. Okay. So now I'm going to roll two dice, one for direction and one for distance. Uh, we'll call the yellow brewer dice direction and the brown, or the plate painted dice for distance. And I roll that, and I got two, three, uh, which would put the ball. I don't have it. Use my fancy widgets. So this is the two marker, and it would go two, three to right there. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that placement. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay. And now the game is actually about to begin. So now, starting with the receiving player, we're going to do what's called allocating influence, and we're going to start our turn. This is very similar to Batman, uh, where you, um, you know, raise a plan. The only difference is you only have a set number of counters for the entire team. Okay. okay? So if you look at your cards, you have this influence stat. And the influence, again, is in two numbers. The hmm. first number is the amount of influence that that model contributes to the team. And the second number is the ma is basically represents the maximum amount of influence you can stick on that character. Gotcha. Okay? So uh, if you quickly added yours up... There's one, one, two, there's six total, eight, ten, twelve. and twelve. Right. Okay. So you can use those, uh, those little... So, little hammer, okay. mason hammer things for 12. I believe I'm also a 12 influence. Mm -hmm. uh, you would go first and start to allocate um, influence. Okay. I'll, I'll suggest, I'll make some suggestions to you. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to decide, do you want to try to go for a goal? Because you are the masons. <laughs> masons can do everything. You can decide. Do you want to okay. go for a goal or do you want to kill something? Let's go for a goal. You want to go for a goal. Okay. Right. So here's what I'm going to recommend. Um, you're going to want to put probably... You're probably going to want to put three on Flint. Just guessing here. Uh, you're going to want to put... Uh, let's put at least four on Honor. Let's do four for now. Captains usually go four. Okay. Usually a good idea. And then, uh, so that's seven, right? You have five that's left. That's um, so then you might go, for example, uh, let's put two on Mallet because he's always super, super useful. And I guess one on Harmony. And you have two left, right? Mm -hmm. Let's stick him back on Honor. Put it back she's, on yeah, let's go full wow, clip she's on a her. Full clip, she's yeah. yeah, this is six influence Masons, token. Masons, uh, they they're gonna the, Masons tend to rely on a, a a very specific play at the beginning of the game. Okay, it's called superior strategy, and I'm gonna show you how to how to run that play. So you're not just getting a demo; you're getting like how to be dope with the Masons team. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna allocate influence for my team. I believe I'm also twelve, but I'll count four. 6, 8, 9, 11, 12. Yeah. So, so I'm going to go 4 on the Captain Tapper. I'll go... Uh, let's go 2 on Hooper. He's kind of the beat-faced guy. Um, I like to have 1 on uh, Spigot. Uh, so that's 4. I like to have 2 on Stave. So 4, 6, 8, 9. I have 3 left. Let's go two on Friday, and I have one left. Who should get it? Who should get the last one? Where is the last one? Um, let's give let's give Tapper five. Okay, cool. All right. So now, so now that we're all allocated, 
Okay. Uh, now we're going to actually start the turn. So again, just like Batman, this is alternating activations. You pick a model, um, you get one advance during your turn, either a run or jog charge. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you would use the other, you would use your influence to do other things like make additional attacks or pass the ball or that kind of thing. Okay. So um, pretty much um, you're saying each influence token gives you an activation, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Mark, let me get out of the way for you. Let me give Harmony one, right? Okay, cool. Yes. All right, what's up, Mark? <laughs> okay. Once we get in here, you're setting up your Star Wars tree. Are you setting up a Christmas tree already? Man, don't get me started <laughs> on that. All right. Um, okay, so... Your first order of business is going to be to, to get the ball, and you're probably going to want to pass it to somebody. Um, in order to make a pass, you need influence, so we're going to pick one of the models that has influence already. Um, okay. A prime candidate for something like this is going to be uh, Harmony, okay. so I would recommend starting with her. So um, now her movement is six and eight. So does that mean yeah? So spend influence so, so to move if she doesn't spend any influence, thanks, Mark. I gotta find my wallet it's here somewhere. Um, thank you, sir. Um, yeah. If you if you don't spend any influence, you get your jog. If you spend one influence, you get your sprint, which would be eight. Or if you or if you spend two influence, you would get a charge, which would be mm. to move eight and do a special attack at the end of it. Okay. Okay. So, well, with her, we just want to do a jog Good and jog. pass the ball, six right? Inches, right? Yeah. So I have this uh, little widget here you can use. So this too is six inch. Does that? Yep. Just take the take that edge and yep, you would go basically right up to the ball. Okay. Do I place her here? Yeah. Okay. okay. So now you have now she has possession of the ball, and uh, what you're going to want to do, one thing I should point out too. Uh, because there's lots of weird rules that happen. Again, this is the Masons are the synergy team, so we're always checking distances between players. So when Harmony activated, she was within well within eight inches of Honor. So that means during her activation, she can use Honor's kick and attack stat, which is cool. She gets to use her big sister's nice. man. She gets to use her big sister's uh, uh, kick stat. <laughs> All right. So uh, so we're gonna. So I would recommend um, uh, you probably want to kick the ball to either Honor or Mallet. Uh, your choice. Okay. So let's kick the ball to Honor then. Okay. Kick sister. the ball to Mallet. To to uh, Honor. Okay. So you're not going to look at Harmony's kick stat because Harmony's kick stat is pretty terrible, right? It's like two six. Uh, um, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, but you're going to look at her sister's kick stat. Which is four six. Four six. Okay, so you're gonna have four dice, okay. but check it out. You also have you're also within four inches of Mallet, who puts out Football Legend. So you're gonna Ooh. you're gonna get five dice for this. Okay. So. Five so you're gonna dice. roll five dice, and you need a single four, and I don't want to jinx it by saying that. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, yeah. so so uh, so Arnold's gonna get the ball. You're gonna gain a momentum. So what I usually like to do is stick. One of those on your goal marker. The kill ball. Yep. Momentum. So, you know, momentum is super important. Uh, you're, you need momentum for things like healing. You need it to kick goals, um, and you can do teamwork plays with momentum. So momentum's pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so that's the end of uh, your turn. There, I'm gonna go with the Brewers, and I'm gonna go with the Brewers. To back this camera out, actually, it's too tight. Hmm? He's too tight, and I have a boba straw on the board. That one week I forgot. All right, so let's back out. Much nicer. Now we can kind of see what's going on. All right, shadow light, which just allows her to go. Dodge two, and she has a move of six, and the kitty is gonna be a kitty. Kitty! Kitty is gonna be a kitty! And just go over to this side of the of state. 
Okay. Hands back to you. Hmm? Told you my activations are super long. Um. <laughs> okay, now walk me through this. I know she has a ball, right? Mm -hmm. There's no influence tokens on these guys. Generally, you need influence token to make an action, right? Oh, you spent that one. Oh. That was hers. Oh, yes. That's what she is. So this guy, Brick, is really good without influence. Because okay. he has an ability called Counter Charge. Basically, right. what you do with Brick is you move him up the board and then just sit there. Hmm. And if any time one of my guys ends in advance within six inches of him, he can charge, charge them for free. Charge Okay. Very cool. This disgustingly good ability. It's kind of like a. <laughs> it's kind of like a tank that moves. Yep. For in. It's in possession. So, am I allowed to move him up to six inches like this? No, you. Uh, he has no influence on him, so you can only jog with jog. him. Jog. Oh yeah. So you can That's only go mean, four. Uh, four inches, right? Yep. So, does that mean one, two, three, four? You could just use the. Um, you would just use the this edge. Thing? Yeah, actually, there's two. What you could do that. That's actually pretty slick. Like you could do, say that, and Interesting. four inches would put four. you right there. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Gabe, you make cool shit, Gabe. Yeah, I think that's, that's what freaking he meant. awesome. Gabe makes really good stuff. He's a pretty awesome guy that I met. All right. So. Thanks, Gabe. So now, if I move within six inches of him, now he has this automatic charge. I'm now. boned. Hmm. <laughs> Break. Hmm. And I do not have a I do not have a good way of getting momentum this turn. Um hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go with spigot. Spigolt. Mm. And what am I I would be moving five? I can do five and not be within your range, but that's not very useful. Um, I actually do need to be within your range because I need to use my football legend. So I'm going to go spigot and do something not so wise. I'm going to move him. Uh, I'm going to sprint him kind of up. Just I'm going to move him like to... So that is within your counter charge range. So you can decide if you want to punch him in the face or not. <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I want to see how this is a game there. demo. So yeah. yes, why not? Yeah, why not? Okay. So, so, so you get a free charge. And it says once per turn when an enemy model ends in advance within six inches of this model, when the mm -hmm. model is not engaged, when this model may immediately take a charge for getting into model. So mm -hmm. does that mean I move up six inches next to the... Yes. Now, spacing is important in this game because you have... Different models have different melee ranges. Um, and Brick has a melee range of two. Um, Spigot only has a melee range of one. So what you're going to want to do is you would charge... Charges have to be in straight lines. So you could charge, like, to there, for example, mm -hmm. and stay within two but outside of one. That way I can't retaliate. So you'd be... Come on a little closer. There you go. And you're just going to punch him in the face. All right. All right. So now, at the end of a charge, you're going to get your attack, which is the number of dice you're going to roll for attacking, okay. um, which should be five. five. So you're going to get five dice. I would recommend, yeah, five blue dice. And then charging is plus four attack. So you're going to get those other four dice, the other oh. four... And Plus we're four. Wow. Yep. And we're attacking Spigot, so we look at Spigot's defense. Spigot's defense is three, three. with one armor. So we're going to count your threes, and we're going to remove one success because of armor. Wow. wow. Crap. Your dice roll. My dice roll really well for you. So, okay. <laughs> so that would be, Can yeah, those. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And then pull one of those out for armor. Let's pull one of them out for armor. So you got five. You got five. Okay. So now, um... When you're, when you're deciding what happens during a hit, what you do is you look at your playbook here. And for every success, you move over a column. So let's say it's five, you go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, he would wrap, go all the way around. But in the case of Brick, you go five across. So one, two, three, four, five, that's the entire playbook. 
So you go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You can pick any single result that you want from the playbook. Um, the results that are in blue give you momentum as well as doing whatever it is you want to do. So you can, you know, you can knock, knock, down. knock them down. That would gain you a momentum. Or you could even do like two in a knockdown, but that would not give you momentum. Uh, you could do up to four damage. Any single result from there. Uh, you can't take tackle because I don't have the ball. That's okay. But so if I do knockdown, I gain momentum. Yes. Correct. And, and I recall that so momentum is very important. Yep. They're very so important. Let's do this. It's a good thing to do. Okay. So you, you knocked uh, poor Spigot on his on his took his there. And guess what? That wasn't your turn. That was mine. So oh. now you get to go with another model. Okay. And what's the subsequent turn that you recommend? Should you on activate now? Um. Like normally, like a good rule of thumb is you save your important stuff till the end of the turn. Okay. So right now the monkey doesn't have any influence on him. He's not really doing anything. Um, so you probably just want to take a jog with the monkey. Take, let's take a jog on the monkey. He has a movement. The monkey is really, really good when you want to kill somebody. <laughs> so just like move him around and just, and just be a nuisance right now. When people, like, you, what you want to do with the monkey is you want people to forget that the freaking monkey is there. <laughs> and then by the time the monkey is in position, it's too late. <laughs> by the time and they you start doing the 10 there. damage swings on people, and you're like, what the hell? And I'm like, I got my monkey there! You don't even know! <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes. 8 VP activation. Okay, so my turn to go, I gotta decide... What to do here? Hmm. I could chuck this thing back there. I probably should. And try to break up the play. Or I could try to gain some momentum off of Brick, because now Brick is right in front of me. That's a good idea. And I didn't tool up Hooper, because that was not smart. Alright, so I'm going to go with Stave, big boy right here. Um, and he's going to do a normal jog of four. He's going to get to within one inch of... Actually, I want to scoot over. I'll get to within one inch of Brick. And I'm going to declare an attack on Brick. Now, um, because you have a momentum, you can declare a counterattack, uh, which would allow you an attack after I resolve my attack. Um, the downside to doing that is you give up the momentum, and if I do something like I knock you down or something like that, then it's just completely wasted. Okay. So it's usually not a good idea unless you're really unless you're fairly confident that I can't knock you down. <laughs> if you want to know what it takes for me to knock you down, it takes me one hit to knock you down. Wow. So probably not a good idea. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to do one attack. I'm attack six. And because he's not standing up or nowhere near the play, he doesn't help me. He doesn't give me a crowd out. And your defense is two defense with two armor. Two. And then two armor. Hey, what's Hello, up, Dave? Dave. We're, teaching, we're teaching Nelson some guild ball. Oh, yeah. Finally, right? I we're am, finally I'm teaching being Nelson guild ball. I'm by patient zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so twos and twos, right? So, oh, God, look oh, at the ones. Oh, goodness. Two ones. Got and then snake eye. two out for armor. Armor. Oh, that two leaves hits. me two successes. Mm. Not as good as I want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that momentous knockdown. So I'll knock down. <laughs> About time. <laughs> <laughs> The ghost of Obi Wan will give him a lightsaber. That's pretty funny. Okay, so I'm gonna knock down brick. That's what brewers do: is we knock people down. Um, and then I still have one more, so I'm gonna take another attack on brick. So now, um, normally when you're knocked down, your defense would go down by one, but your defense can never go below two. You're already two. Okay. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna gain an additional die. So six dice, and then one for you being knocked down. Roll that again. And there's a miss, and two out for armor. So I got four. four. Uh, so I can go all the way out to here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this momentous double push. Okay? So pushes and dodges, um, they're just ways of moving models around the board. Uh, when you have... 
a push or a dodge, it all has to be one direction. So I'm going to, I know it's not the name of the band. Um, and then I'm going to put you right there. God, this widget so good. It's so good. You just <laughs> right? know exactly Dude. what you're doing. Nice. So good. Okay. All right, Nelson, you are up, sir. Now it's time for the important shit to happen, basically. Mm -hmm. So all important things about to happen. Um, so now if you're master of this team. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is what I normally do at the start of a game. Um, usually because we're gonna we know we're gonna do superior strategy, right? Superior strategy is gonna give one of your models an additional activation. Uh, and you usually pick you would go one of two ways. You're either gonna pick uh, mallet if you wanna go Super Saiyan mallet and just beat the shit out of a guy. Uh, that's usually what you do when you're res uh, when you're kicking off. Uh, in this case, we've received the ball, so you're probably going to want to go extra handsome Flint. Um, so you're going to want to boost Flint with this. Okay. Um, oh yeah, go for it. Sure. So, uh, so at this point, I think what you're going to want to do is ooh, he's my players are too far from. Flint. No, they're not. Flint can totally go up. I mean, uh, no, can totally go up there. All right. So what I'm going to recommend then is, if the play is to go Super Saiyan Flint, um, we're gonna we're gonna throw Mallet into this scrum that's happening here. Okay. okay. So Mallet has two on him. Um, he would use two. He would use those two just to charge, and he's going to charge one of these two models. Um, it, you have a charge of six, I believe, right? Right. So six inches earlier, right? Yeah, from that. You were on the oh. very front edge of the line. Okay. So you charge to there. Okay. And you're like, well, okay. Well, Mallet usually only ha he has a two-inch melee on his card. So you would miss the charge. However, during his activation, Mallet gets a three-inch melee. So Mallet is within business. And you could have declared the charge on either... Um, Oh no! Wait. Yeah, you're That's you're bit, not quite, know. but you can charge. That's a larger character. Yeah, you can charge Stave there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna decide to. I'm gonna decide to spend one of my momentum, so that I can defensive stance against this and try to make it a little bit harder for you to, uh, to hit me. Okay. Okay. You can do that only against a charge. This is gonna increase my defense by one, because I'm defense two zero, which is awful. So I'm going to go to three, three zero, okay? Okay. So, uh, so now you would go to Mallet's attack on his card. Mallet's attack is five. Five, and then plus four for charging. For charging this. Time. So. Are you going to send him down a well? That was again? Andrew. <laughs> Andrew was the one that was. Uh, yeah. Andrew was the one that called everyone to jump down that wall. Well, listen. Did we get any? How are we doing on Twitch side? Do we have any All right, Dave. comments? So, thank you, sir. We have no five on Twitch. plus four. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, and you need threes. Okay. Threes. Well, not too bad. Uh, missed, uh, okay, and then five. So you got five. Okay. So what does now. Mallet want to do with five? Uh, so, so according to this. You say one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you get the Anyone full playbook. Full playbook, mm -hmm. and um, does the knockdown get you momentous on this one? Mm -hmm. It does, but uh, you have this other ability here, which is really cool, called okay. forceful blow. Okay. And it says during a charge, in addition to one or more playbook damage results, the targeted enemy suffers two di two push directly away from this model and an additional two damage. Wow. Which is kind of nice, even though you're not going to gain momentum, you might want to just go full. Like, try to inflict a bunch of damage if okay. you can. So just do the force bolt blow, <laughs> and the target suffer two inches push away directly from model and then two damage, right? Yep. Um, and it's up to you. You may not actually want to push him away. You can, because he's such an easy model to kind of proc stuff off of, you may want to keep him around. Um, but let's take the damage anyway. So, Stave does have tough hide, so he's going to take one damage off of um, the total of this attack. So, you did, you're did. you going to select four damage. He'll take three, okay. and then he'll take one from the forceful blow. Okay. So, 
so that will put Stave at uh, that will put him at 19 health. Oh, and, He's got uh, a lot of health. Dave does have so, a question. Octave, did you get a chance to send the thing to me yet? I sure did. All right. It's on its way to you, sir. All right. Thank you for thank you for watching and commenting. You want a thing? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. So Mallet came in there, cracked a little skull there, which is good. Um, and now the rest of this is sort of momentum wars. Uh, I'm going to go with El Capitan, uh, Mr. Tapper here. Okay? So, Tapper. Tapper. He does not have Shadow Like. He does. Uh, so he's going to. He's got a move, base move of four. And he's, I know I'm within six of um, brick there. So if I move, I know that if I move four to there, that should be within two of brick. Okay. Whoops, that's the wrong dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Am I within six of? Not quite similar. I'm not, not going to lie. I'm not quite within six of, of uh, brick. So I'm going to have to charge him. So I have to spend two. Uh, this is gonna. Uh, this will move me seven. Uh, so I'll go seven to there. I'll stay right outside the border there, over at two inches. Okay. And that was two away to do that. Uh, so now my attack is six, and I have Halloween dice from CQ. From CQ. Those are my other two dice. Okay. And we're oh, going to go after Brick. Hello, Elber. Hey, what's yes, up? Yes, you can see tutorial. I'm infected by Patient Zero. <laughs> patient Zero strikes again. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I need twos and two okay. armor away. All right. There we go. Uh, miss. Well, miss, miss, and then two away for armor. That's a lot Ooh, of hits, though. That's a lot of hits. Seven. Oh, I forgot seven. to tell you, I added one more because he's still standing up. Okay. So he still contributes a crowd out. So total uh, seven. So total seven. If we look at uh, Tapper's playbook here, he has five columns. So what's going to happen is it's going to wrap. And when you wrap, you get you get to pick two results. So in other words, uh, for for hit it, for having five, I get to pick any one single result, and then I would go six, seven, and then on the second result, I can pick one of the other two yeah, results. Two. Okay, so uh, so this is kind of cool because it's gonna, and you can you get to pick what order they occur in. Oh, very nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pick um, I'm gonna pick uh, momentous. I'm sorry, non momentous. Um, uh, commanding aura, which is nice. It's just I just put up a playbook. Basically, this gives me a four inch. Everybody within four inches of me gets plus one attack and gets to do, uh, I think, plus one damage to playbook results. Then I'm going to come all the way around and I'm going to do two damage to brick on that wrap. Okay. And uh, it's going to go up to three because of commanding aura, but then it's going to go back down to two because you have blo uh, tough hide. Tough hide. So you're going to take two. So take two damage. All right. Then I'm going to go again. Whoop. Spend another one. Uh, so I go all the way back down to tack six. And then one crowd out. And commanding aura. So seven. On the dice. Two's and two. Oh! oh! Wait. I had one more because you were knocked down. There's a lot of ones, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of ones. Just so one. three away. Five, and then two for armor. Two for armor. So, so that leaves me total. with four. Oh, four, yes. Um, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna. We're just gonna start piling damage on. So I'm gonna do three damage, which goes up to four, back down to three. Okay. Momentous so there. More. So break is at fourteen. Okay. Uh, let's do it one more time. Whoop. Same deal. This is eight dice total coming at you. Miss and two way for armor. Halloween. Okay, so five. Uh, I'll do the same thing. Momentous three. Okay. You guys need sucking. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You want sake? I'll do it. I'll do a shot. Okay, we'll do one in a, in a minute here. So <laughs> that's what I, I thought I would ask. How how many damage? Oh, that was another so, three. three damage, right? Yeah, so, and I'm already correcting for tough hide. Okay. So so it is down to eleven now. Oh, down to eleven. Oh, we're. We're punching the shit out of brick. Okay. Um, I have one more attack to go here, so we'll go one more. Wow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah, the oh, ones! The ones are killing you. And two more. Oh, so goodness. three. Three. So the most I can do, maybe I shouldn't do damage now. Maybe I should. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a momentous one push. And I'm going to push you. <gasps> Which is so good. So I'm going to push you one inch there. Come hang out with us, Brick. Alright, <laughs> then I'm going to do what is called a heroic play. Some characters have heroic plays. These cost you uh, one of your momentum. Uh, so this is old Jake's. This is basically I hand a beer out to somebody. Um, which is, I'm literally about to do that. So it's fitting. <laughs> um, and this allows me to immediately allocate two influence between other friendly guild models within six inches. And so I'm going to do, and I'm going to be a complete misogynist here, and I'm going to totally ignore Friday, and I'm going <laughs> to give those other two over to uh, Hooper. Hashtag trigger. Yeah. Yeah. The patriarchy, damn it. How dare you, sir. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to get some, I'm going to get a couple of cups. A little salmon for a little. Hey, what's up? What's up, Dread Man? Thanks for tuning in. Um, and I'm gonna give you like two minutes to talk strategy with Mark because he knows cool. what the hell's up. Come on over, Mark. Borrow this for a second. And tell him what he's so I'm at. calling a timeout here. Looks like I'm letting ta uh, Mark to walk me through this. Yeah, we're having the seasoned coach. Come on. All right. So, uh, looking in the playboy here. Keep what's going on. Keep the monkey in your brick. <laughs> because. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because as long as the monkey is near a brick, he gets counter charge. Okay. Which on Marvels is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, well, within four inches of brick, he gets counter charge, which is what always, always screws me up. So, since Tapper activated, now should I. Which one should I activate next? Uh, that's great, man. Yeah, have honor go, okay. superior strategy, pass the ball. Then you can use a momentum to actually move him up uh, four inches after you pass it. It's called like touch and go or something. Okay. Let's see. Actually, that might not, might not be worth it right now. I think there's a gold there, but my masons don't use don't use um flint. Oh my god! Oh, oh god. We, we we got Andrew oh, in the house now. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> what? Has school mates on me? Dad, got a little ticket. Mark, did you bring Andrew is here. here. Yes, no. more people. I can't. Now. I okay. have, can only find like bits and pieces of my shit since we so moved. So I guess. Uh, I guess Andrew's gonna do one, one with us as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh goodness. I'll pour a little one for uh, for Nelson here because he's yeah. trying to learn. Wow. Uh, I need here, I'll. <laughs> I need yeah, to okay. Yeah. You take a little one? Yeah, okay. Alright, tonight's segment brought to you by Yegeki Black Bottle. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dizzy? Oh, uh, hello, Dizzy. And I'm gonna pour myself one. Alright, folks. This is a traditional style sake. It's funny. I recommend. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's mine. Dang. That's mine. Oh, Relax. Okay. <laughs> I'm not driving. That's, that's, you guys are fine. Dizzy, guys, take a look at this. You guys can just, I'm just, I'm going to pour you guys little ones. That's what I call This is, this is what oh, I do. Yeah, that's lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. All right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Just a little, just a little for flavor, people. That's just me. A little, I'm super lightweight. Just a little. No, no, that's All right. Me. We're going to celebrate. We're, wait, we're, we're, celebrating? we're celebrating infecting Nelson with Guild Ball. Oh, wait, you guys look at, you guys are actually comparing. Yeah, There's like, like nothing I, in here. I need to have nothing All right. in here, guys. Come by, everyone. Come by. 
this is his pregame for Friday. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. That's, that's smoother that's than the, the other one. Yeah. Uh, I'm how smooth no, it is. but it's good. No way. No, it's just because I shot this, it really fast. I had a just I had like twice what they had combined. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So you got your strategy, Nelson? Good, good. I think so. Okay. Here's here's. Ooh. Need some help here. So yeah. Well, I call, so we call the timeout. Mark we call the timeout. Tell me, um, <laughs> tell me uh, the monkeys should stay here because it's okay. a free counterattack. He's okay. got a full and clip on uh, on honor. Who's got the ball? Clip. And you got three on Flint. Go. So <laughs> she's like, I can tell. So I, I pour it? a little who's extra for me. Okay. Side. I'm greedy. All these characters have gone. These two have not. Those two have not. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He absolutely can. He can do it with honor. He can do it with honor. He can too. do it with honor or flame. So honor has an ability that allows a model to activate twice. Yeah. So you could technically sprint at one of your guys. Why all the heavy right. breathing, Octave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I'm chasing my Saki with uh, yeah, Boba. With Boba. Did the best way to do it. And spam Masubi. Yes. So we're doing it right. It's it's fucking legit. decadent up in this piece, man. What's yeah. honor's run? Nelson. What's up, Rusty? Uh, Anna's run is, I believe, she's got the stat of 6-8. So okay, so yeah. you can spend an influence to run 8. To run 8, and so then... Technically, what you could do is you could spend... How much is your... I'll let them figure it out. strategy, 4? You see, these these non-Mason players, we'll let them figure it out. <laughs> so I might, I, I might go in the other room and right, just like so kind of whisper into the mic what they should do. Uh, I have a final question <laughs> for chat. Ask, Who get, in chat plays Binding of Isaac? Did you hear that? Who in chat plays Binding of Isaac? That's what Mark wants so to know. So pass the ball from Honor to Flint, and then use Honor's uh, superior strategy. Superior strategy, and then use a momentum to do give and go. So Flint can dodge four. And even if Friday comes to counter-attack Flint, well, <laughs> you have something called close control, so the first tackle that he does to you is ignored. Okay. So with two influence, there's no way he can get the ball away from Flint. So like hypothetically, right? Is this centimeters? Okay. <laughs> so hypothetically, right, you can move up, pass Played it, it but don't play it. Oh, four up to does here. he say she's played it, but she doesn't and play it now? next turn, does that help you you'll either have to go with one of these yes. guys, right? Okay. Flint? can activate twice, but I think you can make a goal in just one go. So, he's a 8-5. I feel like I so need 4 mics in this So you can dodge 4 room. over here with where they go. It then took, it took us like half an hour to reset the mic. So like, around here, spin he has a kick stat of 8. Okay. Another way. I mean, whatever makes you feel strategy brought to you by ESPN. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Alright, cool. So let's do it. Okay, check it out, Diz. So the oh, spam Mitsubi? Spam Mitsubi, oh legit. They dipped the they dipped the spam in panko flakes. It's fucking righteous, brah. Righteous, brah. <laughs> and you hit that fucking vape. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Nice. Sweet. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. All right. You got right. your plan, Nelson. Right. Let's do it. Okay. What are you, so what are we doing? They told me to. Uh, <laughs> I will immediately correct them. <laughs> 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 consult with my coach. <laughs> And this is supposed to be, uh, pass the ball to Flint, oh, right? Yeah. Are you saying my breathing is offensive? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. So we're gonna pass the ball to Flint? Okay. But you got a six kick, so you gotta move a little bit. Yeah, you're not gonna make it. So you should, you should move first. Um, how far should I move? You might as well sprint up. Jose is coming. <gasps> yes! We can play some Batman with Jose after. Ooh, this this place is lighting up. <laughs> what the hell? Take him so long. Alright. So, what I would recommend, sir, since these guys are not Mason's players, uh, I would go ahead... Um, I would go ahead and sprint to there. So spend one to sprint. Go eight. And Stay within, and you're going to triangulate this. You're going to want to get within four of him, and within four of uh, of uh, Flint there. Ooh. So within right? four, 
be on this side. Yeah, this is Mason's trigonometry, bitches. This is what we do. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. okay. So good. It's so she good. Is. All right. Okay. You right. That's right. Masons are for Asians. You gotta have trigonometry <laughs> skills to do this. All right. So now. Algebra. So now you're gonna spend four to superior strategy flint. Okay. Right. So you'd spend the four. That's gonna give him one, and it's gonna give him the cool little. So it allows him to dial. Twice. So now he's going to get to go twice. Okay. And that's all the way. And now you have one more. So you're going to kick over to Flint. You're going to pass him the all ball. Goes away, right? All that's gone. Okay. And then kick the ball to Flint. Yes. Yes, sir. And I remember you so said. So what's your kick? Doesn't matter wh where the ball is. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. So. Just making I sure. Is this better now, Diz? Are you not offended by me? So you Are you not offended by my heavy breathing? <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, come on. That'd be the highest rated video I'd ever put out. The ASMR video. You right. know that's hot. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead and pass. <laughs> okay, uh, so so okay, so we're going to pass the ball there, right? What's your kick? It's 4 no, 6, okay. but guess what? Guess what? Oh, football legends. Like ah, five dice. Don't Andrew this. Don't no. don't Andrew this. Do yeah, not Andrew I this. Let's do dice. five dice. I missed the four dice. Now. Okay, you got it. Oh, good, 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 good. All right. In our game, I missed like. And quite frankly, I would I would bank the um I would bank the momentum. I would not take a team play. You Flint has so much. He's got so much threat range. Don't you don't even have to bother sliding up. Just go ahead and take the uh, the momentum. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Because yeah. he's so activation. good looking. He's what you, so good looking. Okay, walk me through this. All right. So does he just? No, no, don't. You're good. Okay. Just just, just put the just put the momentum on your on your goalpost. Because yeah, you made it. Bam. Yeah. Look Three. at that. All right. Three. Damn. I'm still gonna pick on your homie right here. <laughs> All right. You're gonna pick on brick. Okay. So now we're gonna go with Friday. The lady, and she is gonna go. She's in totally within six of of. We're just gonna keep picking on brick here, cause why the hell not? Stop! 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 So I'm gonna go walk over to Flint like this, right? And then I'm gonna call the kitty. Okay. Oh, I forgot that I could do my I could do my shadow like and then walk up. So I can do shadow like actually walk up to like this. Then I can call. Don't I get to call that stupid cat over? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like you can't go further than your base. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna call the cat to over here. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And then we're gonna then we're gonna do work on this poor poor dude on the ground. We're gonna do work. <laughs> so All right. Really I know. <laughs> Still, this is gonna be a lot of dice though, because check it out. So one away, right? Oh, commanding aura. Commanding aura is up. Oh, so, so we got four, right? Yeah. Then we got uh, one, for um, one for knockdown. One for commanding aura. One for commanding aura. Three crowd outs. Or two, two crowd outs. outs. That's a lot of damn dice <laughs> for a, for a young lady. <laughs> That's what show is. Show is a lot of good dice for some young ladies. All right. So we're gonna do that. We need a bunch of twos. I got still oh, got two ooh. ones oh, and two. <laughs> what? 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 The socket is going through you quick. Is it? Yeah. Look, so I got, so I wrapped on this bitch. Like, right? <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do dirty knives. Right? Uh, enemy model suffers minus one defense, one damage, and the poison condition. So it would go to two damage because of commanding aura, right? Because that affects plays. And then your tough hide would bring it back down to one. I think it only affects... Uh, Playbooks, not character plays. Oh, playbook damage results. So no. Yeah. So you would not take the. You could do the non-momentous one, non-momentous two, twice. I think, right? And that'd be three damage each. We're not down to two after tough hide. I want the poison though. Oh, okay. All right. So, so I'm gonna do. Two damage. It's basically gonna be no damage and poison. But you get an extra dice. But then, the on the wrap, I'm gonna do one damage. Which will go up to two, which will go back up down to one. So you're going to take a whole a grand total of one damage. Okay. 
break us down to ten. All right. So now, so now we get to do things. So what? And you get an extra dice because yes, it's very because nice. yes, that is right, sir. So one away. Here we go. Four. Uh, Commander Nomura knocked down. We need more dice. Uh, Commanding Aura knocked down. Dirty knives. Two crowd outs. <laughs> That's a lot of damn knives, man. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, Robert? Here we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. Bam. And then two. This is going to be a lot of rips. So, check it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? So, this is two wraps and an extra. That's, so, yeah. I'm going to do... Uh, so, essentially, this is going to be five damage after Tough Hide is taken. Yeah. No. Yeah. Five, two, two, five damage after... One, and the commanding arc counts out. Yeah. So, it's a total five damage. No momentum, though. I did... I said, what's up to Robert? Yes. Oh, All right, so five more damage, Mr. Nelson. Oh, and the brick is officially <laughs> down to five. He's down to five. We're picking on brick. That. Okay, so now it is your turn, sir. Okay. You have one model that can go twice. Yes. You're going to take one of his activations right now. Okay, so we'll do that. And So what I would recommend doing is you're just trying to cover ground, but you don't want to get within range of my homie right here. Like, you want to go... Your, what's your sprint? Your sprint is eight. Your sprint is eight, which would put you somewhere in this area out here, okay. which would, which would actually put you. Um, you are allowed to pre-measure in this game, so. That's very useful. So nine. So, if assuming I have a threat range of nine with my two-inch reacher, good. As long as you don't, just don't cross the line. Just spend a. Yeah, Andrew was saying that somewhere around here. Earlier. Yeah, like come up to come up to like right around there. So. And just measure. spend one for the jog. Okay. How do you play this spend game? One for the jog and move up to here. Yeah, but you're gonna just tack around this uh, obstacle. So that's that's about eight inches, right? Right, but you don't want to be on the obstacle. Oh, okay. Like come around to like there. Come around here. All right. Okay. Because that protects you from this dude here, who's about to put in some work. Mm, All right, so gotcha. Hoopa, Hoopa. He has a four-seven move, which would not get him here. He's going to. He can't charge either. I could actually charge. I could actually charge to there. Let's do it. So I'm going to go two away and charge to there. Whoop. All right. All right. I'm going to need a shit ton of dice for this. <laughs> okay. Hoopa on the charge, you guys. All right. Here we go. All right. So here we go with Hooper. He is. Let's do the math, people. Tack. Tack five. Right? Homie's knocked down. That's another one. Uh, uh, four for charging. Gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of uh, dice. And then... Ooh, this is a cool dice. Uh, and then how many crowd outs? One, two, three crowd outs. And then commanding aura. God! I know you're looking at that. You're like, damn, he's just making shit up. I'm just yeah, making it up. Fourteen dice right there. I that's think. a lot of dice, and I need two. That is fourteen dice. All right. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, shove the boot in, so I get. Oh no, it's just plus one damage. It's not plus one die. Union die in there. Dirty union. Okay. So I need a bunch of twos, essentially. And you have how much health left? Brick has five health left. Okay. Armors two, That's defense true. two. Miss, Ooh, miss, two armor wow. away. Okay, so that we've is, got uh, five, six, ten, ten, ten total. Ten total. Wow. Uh, Hooper has a playbook of five, so he gets a full wrap twice. Right. Oh my gosh. I don't want to kill you just yet. I just want to <laughs> farm a bunch of momentum. So here's what we're going to do. Um, she gives plus two moves. 
Because if I pick this momentous three, you'll die. No, you won't. You'll be at one. So I'm going to pick momentous three, okay. which will go up to four, five, which will go back down to four, four. after your tough hike. So brick is all the way down to one. Mm -hmm. And then on the next one, I'm going to take a momentous double push to put you right there and be a massive, massive dick right there. So momentum, momentum. And then we'll do it again. All right. So we got to so count Jose. again. Oh, yeah. What's up, Jose? We got another player. We got a lot of people fit. We're getting so we're five. house today. Knock down. Oh, my God. Four. This man shot. Four. Crowd outs. Commanding aura. Dirty knives. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. That's still a lot of dice. I started out playing 40k, but don't play it no more with the awesome new figures. I'm tempted to, but got too many games to go as it is. Yeah, it is. Just play like the 20 games we play, and that will count as like one game of 40k. All right, here we go. Uh, look at that. No. Oh, one, one. And two away. And five. So I get up with nine. Total. And I don't want to do any damage here, so... So I'm just going to take uh, a momentous three push twice. Okay. Just give myself two more yeah, momentum. No, right and then the last one's going to go away. Mm -hmm. And I'll spend it again. Octave, I found what? My original one of these nice. Oh. I can't hold on to dice. Alright, so two, two away. I'm going to pick the exact same result. Okay. How mean. I left you alive. I left you alive. <laughs> and just Barely farmed a out. shit ton of... Uh, one HP. <laughs> Alright, so I left Brick on one HP. Oh my god, he's gonna die anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Okay, then I'm gonna spend two of this momentum to stand up uh, Spigot. Basically, you can spend momentum... Like, you can spend... Two momentum on a player that's within eight inches of you to clear his conditions. So I'm just going to stand up spigot. And then mm -hmm. that's my turn. Okay. So now you have Mr. Flint. He's rocking on his second activation. Okay. So now I don't think I've asked this question yet. How mm -hmm. far does a player need to be away from kicking to the goal? Okay. So we have to look at Flint's kick stat. Right. So the Flint kick stat. We got four and eight, right? Four, eight. So he has a kick of eight, okay. which would be that far away from the goal. Okay. He has to be that far away from the goal. He can, you can tell, if he so much as jogs, he's right there. Okay. I mean, if he, yeah, if he, I'm sorry, if he sprints, sprints right? he's right so there. We're just so just spend one or two to sprint. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so what I would recommend doing is you're going to spend one to sprint, God, and you can go up to eight. So we got, this is six total. Here's eight. Okay. Perfect. You can do that. Much easier this I might have some spam masubi while we do this. So goes all the way up to eight. Bring For the ASMR people watching, you can hear me eat spam. That's right. And you're not going to give it away to anyone this time. So <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like over at Kingdom Con? Yeah. Like always say? Okay. So here's the other cool thing. Where's my goddamn spam? Gave it to everyone. If you get within four inches of the goal, you get what is called a tap-in bonus. Right? Mm -hmm. Which would mean you need a three to hit a goal instead of a four. Okay. And you have a play that will get you within four inches of that goal. So let's go ahead and look at Flint's card okay. and look at his plays. I hope you choke on it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> They're, you know what, you're, they're, they're going to have to edit this part out just for the ASMR and just play it as a separate clip. Yeah. Just put that shit on loop. All right. So, so now... So now... I know. Uh, so now you would do what? Where'd they go right? It's going to cost you one, okay. but you get to dodge four inches. So if you dodge four inches, it's totally going to put you... Within four inches within of the goal. Yeah. Okay. So you would be whoop, right to there, and you'd spend another away. So now you're within four of the goal. Okay. 
and you have one. So to kick a goal, it's, it costs you one. Um, it costs you one influence and one momentum. Okay. But let's go ahead and spend two. Let's bonus time it. Since you're not going to win first turn anyway, with okay. all the momentum I have. Okay. All right. So let's look at his kick. His kick is. Four eight, right? What? Four eight. Four eight. So you're going to roll four dice, but we spent an additional momentum to bonus time it, so it's going to be five. And you have plus one. You basically have minus one to the target number, so you need threes. Okay. So a single three on five dice. Don't Andrew this. And you Don't just need one? this. You just need a single three. No pressure. Yeah, you roll right there. Go Flint, you handsome bastard. Oh, and he gets it. Okay. Five, triple no! five. Ding, 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 okay. ding, ding, ding. So you're going to have... So you're on the board with four. I'm going to give you four VP. Two, three, four. All right. And I'm... Oh, God. Oh, God. The standard format of this, of this type of sports. And look at look at the fancy. Oh shit, it's the wrong one. Hey, what's up, Nuke M? Batman. It's Man of Bats. What's up, Nuke M? I'm not. We're we're actually playing Guild Ball, sir. Okay, so you're gonna gain a momentum doing that. Okay. Um. Now, the good news is he scored a goal, which is awesome, but the bad news is he's kind of out there by himself. Um, so. so if you want to... I don't know if you want to drag him back into the play. You can spend one of the momentum to mm -hmm. kind of slide him back. Okay. Or you could spend both of the momentum to stand Brick up and get clear the poison. Okay. So it's up okay. to you, whatever you, which which is more important to you. Spend two. <laughs> the yeah, clear the poison. And yeah. clear the poison, okay. right? Good call. All right. All right. So now, um, so after a goal, the the team that was scored on has to throw in the ball. We can throw the ball anywhere within 10 inches of the goal. I hate any of the ball anywhere near Flint. So I'm going to put the ball... I'm gonna put the ball out here. I'm gonna put the ball right to there. And this just gets thrown in like a regular scatter. All right, so yellow is gonna be direction. One, two. Ooh, so it'll go. So it'll go one, two inches, and I can, I can stick the ball right there on spigot. Okay. So, so that's the end of the turn. Okay. Um, Why are you playing Gotham Sirens with owls? Because I can. Damn power gamer. <laughs> Damn, Damn power, power gamer. gamer. Hey, hey, no power gamer, I take one owl. With okay. One yeah, these they have no idea what's going on. It's okay. I know there's a lot of talking. I'm sorry. There are high volume people in this room. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, so it's the end of the turn. Uh, we would resolve any effects, but you already cleared your poison. Because he would have died in the... Uh, from the poison? From the poison in the uh, in the off there. Um, but then, all of my momentum, all of this stuff, goes towards my die roll for the next turn. Mm. So I'm at plus a lot. I'm at plus seven. seven. You're at zero. So you get plus seven to the roll, so we don't even bother rolling it. Basically, <laughs> I'm going first. Now, the, down, the, the good side... The good... The one upside to going second is you do, you do start the turn with one momentum. So go ahead and give yourself one momentum. Okay. And you're also going to get an additional influence for scoring a goal. So over there you have a um, you have a yeah you have a goal influence. You're going to add that to your pile. So when you start planning your turn, you're going to have 13 influence instead of 12. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, uh, but since I'm going first, I would plan first. I'm going with the man. He's drunk. He's got a plan. He's a drunken dude. So you take advice from the cat? Okay. I could. So I'll go 4-4. Four, four. I gotta decide. I don't really know enough about brewers to know if I want to do this or not. Three six tack five. Yeah. That's a mess to get through. That is a mess to get through. Okay. 
What? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Oh god, it's so scary with Flint right there. Ah! It's so scary with Flint right there. Oh, commanding aura is down. Okay. I trust. I trust in the process. So I have thirsty. Trust. <laughs> this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Oh shit. Okay. This could so, be bad. All right. To plan. Miss turn. Okay. Your your go, sir. May I have a little more spam, Masubi. So keep the monkey here. Yeah. You'll probably want to walk him up at some point. Okay. So, I know Brick is only down to 1 HP. How yep. do I utilize him to be even the most effective before he gets killed? Don't give him influence. <laughs> He's going to go down. I presume you probably just attack him immediately, He's gonna right? He's going to go down. Okay. Yeah. So, should I give... Honor full? Is that three? Six, right? Six, if you want. Full clip. Full clip for her. <clears throat> um, Got big plans one? with the girl. Yeah. And I'd give her one. Harmony for one. And mullet. Should I yeah, give mullet's her three? about to do work. Three? Yeah. And then uh, this. Probably just two on. Uh, hmm? Probably just two on Flint. Two on Flint. Flint is good looking. He doesn't need more than two right now. He's already. And then the last one. He's already bathing in the. Should I give glow. it to the monkey? Um. Two one. Sure. Why not? All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Well, it's my turn to go. Oh my gosh. This could be bad. Oh god. Eight. Well, oh, I can't really get there. All right. So we're gonna start with our ball carrier here. And. Ooh. Yeah. He's just basically gonna walk. He's going to walk around to here. It's not what you thought I was doing, right? <laughs> nope. Um, then I'm going to tool up Hooper. Hoopa! That's going to give him plus one damage. Okay. Then I'm going to pass the ball to, uh, to Friday. Okay. And I have a 3-6 kick, but I also have Football Legend, so I get plus one. So you benefit, in this game, you benefit from your own uh, auras. So, uh, so 4-6, I need a 4. Okay, got it. Okay. A little bit of a strain there. Um, that's going to give me a momentum. I'm going to spend that momentum immediately to do my heroic play called Times Called. Okay, this is a 4-inch aura. Uh, one friendly guild model starts an activation within this aura. It gains plus 2, plus 2 move. We'll just do 2 damage down to 1 non-momentous. Right, okay. What happened? If you take a momentous 1 against somebody with tough fight, you don't get... You get no... Yeah, you get no. nothing. Okay. Alright. I need a fancy marker to say time is called. Alright, sir. So he basically just told everyone, "Beers on me, buddy, buddy." <laughs> okay. Okay. And it is your go. Yeah. So I'm gonna see I'm accurate. Oh, and you can use momentum that. Ah, oh, look, she's like quoting, uh, quoting rules. Yeah. Yeah. Extra dice or extra move. All right. Right. Alrighty, sir. So, if you want to be, you can do something really, really ill-advised. <laughs> what is that? Really ill-advised. You could potentially, it would be, it would be the ballsiest shit ever. But you could walk over to Friday, tackle the ball from her. And then just kick it from there and just hope for the Hail Mary. Like, you could, this is Flint that we're talking about. You could do that. All right. It would be really bad. Okay. But I, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. Um, 
that's probably some shit I would do if I had some more sake. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that. That's the right. fun part, right? Let's do it. Let's Old do Jake's. It. Let's well, do no, wait. Well, let's see. Because you're going to roll in, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to roll in. You're going to be minus one, two, three. You're going to be rolling one die, dude. Oh, two uh -huh. dice. Two dice, and she's four, one, five, one. Wait. Friday becomes five. Yeah, Friday becomes five, one. You're going to need two fives on two dice. Ooh, that's pretty That's difficult. really, really low odds. You could yeah. bonus time it for the third dice, but you still need two fives on three dice. It's still super hard. Yeah. It's quite difficult. You're doing great. Thank you. So I would say patience. Okay. Anybody else want one? <laughs> no, Just I'm good. Me. All right. Kampai, then. <laughs> All right. Person. Somebody's drinking with me. Can I try to move Brick out of there? Since it's like, um, um, not really. No. He's kind of just boned in there. Oh. So, what would be the best? We, we need Jose at Kingdom Con. <laughs> right? Kingdom Con is the... Somebody's got to protect me. Right. We need Jose there. We need Jose here. <laughs> it's going to be my first time too, so, dang. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to go down. Oh, you know you're coming with me. To make sure he doesn't fall in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. All right. So, all right. so <laughs> what's the best advice here? He's, okay. he's stuck. It will be too hard for him to come out. Okay. Right? So you have two. You, you kind of have two plays here. You wanna. You're you're kind of waiting for me to break out of here and try to go for a goal. But you could kind of with honor. You could try to take matters into your own hands mm -hmm. and like get in there before I can break her out take the ball pass it to Flint or even score yourself what I would recommend doing is kind of telegraphing for that to happen so this is weird but what I would do initially is I would first thing I would do is I would walk that monkey over here and then just take a just take a regular attack six inch. just right there on stave yeah just walk up and just monkey the shit out of that guy Right there. Good okay. call. And spend this as yep. well? Spend that. Okay. And then what's your attack, sir? The attack on the monkey is three. Is three. So three dice. And Brick is standing right now. So you'd get an extra dice for a crowd out. So four mm -hmm. dice. And you need... I give Stave nothing. I'm dumb. You need two two with no armor. And you're just trying to get some momentum out of it. Oh, no, that was bad. Oh, but you hit him twice. Okay. Uh, okay, so what's out there? So let's look at the uh, Marbles playbook, right? And you have two hits, so you'd move two columns down. So you can either take one damage, which will do nothing. Tackle will do nothing because he doesn't have the ball. And you have a push. So And the push is going to give you momentum. Okay. Uh, so that's probably what you're going to want to take. So let's do the push. push. So now I'll get the momentum. Yep. Okay. And you can decide not to push him if you want. You can just leave yep. him right there. Okay. That's not a bad spot for him anyway. Okay. Okay, so I gotta start putting in some work here. Okay. So I'm gonna go with uh, I'm going with the big man Tapper. Tapper. Tapper is gonna spend one to attack Brick, and he has attack of six. We have one, two, three. Four crowd outs. Wow. That's a lot of damn dice. Yeah. So two, two. Ouch. A lot of ones, oh. though. Bum -bum. You got three and ones. two armor and away. Two so, so I got five. five. Full playbook on Tapper. Uh, we are going to take... I'm going to take the moment, the non-momentous commanding aura. Put that back up. I love that. I love that buff. Uh, we're going to spend another one. And do the same thing. I forgot how many dice this was. It was roughly that many. <laughs> Hold on. Six, three crowd outs. Uh, wait, one, two, three. Yeah, six, three crowd out. Four crowd outs. Six, four crowd outs. Commanding aura. Okay. Total of eleven dice. Eleven dice. And the octaves rolling. That's yeah, your so saving graces okay. that I'm rolling. <laughs> uh, two away for armor, so I have uh, two, four, eight. Six, eight total. So I'm going to wrap and come around to three. Um, I am now going to do 
so I am going to do some damage this, this turn. So I'm going to do uh, momentous three damage, and I'm also going to take a momentous double push. So I'm going to kill poor Brick here. Mm -hmm. No! All right. So I get two points for the takeout, and I get that many momentum. And because you get a momentum for taking out a model, the boss of boss. All right. Okay. Two. All right. Look at the fancy graphics. Now you can tell the score and everything. Holy shit, people. Okay. Then he's going to take his jog basically to walk <laughs> over there. Go. <laughs> what was that? That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good comment. Oh, leave, come back, and the Masons are up by four. Should leave and come back again. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come over to here. Uh, and let's go ahead and attack Flint. Okay. Now, Flint is a handsome man, okay. right? Flint is typically 3-1 defense, but he has a rule called... Okay, so the family character trait has got a close control, and he's also got Charmed. He has so Charmed this Male. Gains plus one defense against right? each attack or character play made against by the name model type. <laughs> yes. Huh? So so what that means is Flint is so good looking to men, <laughs> specifically to men, Dang. that he's plus one defense against men. Wow. Against mans, right? <laughs> so I spent one to attack Flint. Uh, that's going to... So I'm going to be... Still going to be a lot of dice, but... It's, oh, so, uh, so what you're saying is that the female can damage him a lot easier. A lot. Yes. The ladies can hurt Flint quite a bit. <laughs> the mans have a harder problem. So, 4-1 <laughs> against Flint. Oh! Oh, I did, like, nothing to him because one armor. So he got one, one hit on him. No, what would you... Ah! Damn it. It's not what I want. Okay, I'll take um, I'll take one damage on him then. Okay, so it'll go up down to, to thirteen. It'll go up to two because of uh, commanding. Or no, yeah. So he'll take two damage from okay. commanding aura. So fourteen then, down to twelve. Four I'm gonna spend one to do my heroic play, old Jake's. Okay. This should be a mechanic. Every time I old Jake's, I'm gonna have to take a sip. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright. I'm doing this for the viewers, damn it. Alright. Okay. God, so sad. I'm a room full of people drink by myself. Campai. Here we go. Alright. Down that. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Okay. And finally, I'm going to attack him one more time. So we go six. Uh, and commanding aura. And that's it. That's all I got. Okay. And he's 4 that's 1. Still a lot of dice. He's so handsome. I'm going to bonus time it because he's that good looking. <laughs> I'm going to bonus time. Oh, I, an and I'm guy. supposed to. I'm going to old Jake's. Um, I'm going to old Jake's uh, 1 2 spigot and 1 2 Friday. Okay. 4 1. And 4 1. Oh! oh miss, 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 geez. miss, and 1 armor. Okay. So three total. And I'm going to go ahead and take... Do, 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 do. I will take a momentous knockdown. <clears throat> and we're going to knock down that handsome, handsome man. So, knockdown? All right. Yeah, I got it. There you go. All righty. Hmm. And it is your go, sir. Okay. So, remember, we're still working on... Oh, my God. You actually do have a path to a goal here. What is that? It's called honor is ridiculous. That's what it's called. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. Wait, wait. Or drink alcohol straight from the bottle like a real brewer. Winning with brewers requires drinking straight from, from the bottle. bottle. That is quite true. To the head, damn it. All right. Oh, wait. I don't get to drink a Jango Con. No, because you're the one responsible. Jose does not get to drink at Kingdom Con because he yes, he has to he's my handler he has to take care of me. That's how he handles me. Also, to be fair, a lot of people just give Octave alcohol. 
That's true. Yeah. It's true. You will get a lot of drinks hanging out with me. Yeah. Well, Kingdom Come. A lot of people give me drinks. All right. We have to make so. sure he actually doesn't want to drop in somebody else's car. Right <laughs> well, the usual end result that says place two hard markers within the AOE. Does it have to be fully within the AOE? Nope. Thank God. All right. Dirty, 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 bastard. Okay. Dirty. Um, you can if you want. You can go for a goal. Okay. Let's do it. We, but it's going to involve honor walking here. Here. It, you are going to risk a knockdown from him. Okay. But you got this. Let's try it. You got this. Okay. Yeah. So, let's do it. Let's go for big plays. We're so, honor will plays. move six, right? Yep. To here. So, walk to there. Don't get within one of her. Good. Okay. All right. So, now... Um... Well, let's go. Let's go like there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because we're gonna do something. We're gonna do. We're gonna do something awesome. We're gonna use Honor's legendary play. Okay. okay. Go ahead and look up her legendary play. Her legendary play. Mm -hmm. well, topping legendary out. plays you could do once per game. Okay. Six inch poles. <clears throat> Choose either plus one arm or plus one influence. Friendly guild models within the poles gain the chosen benefit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... So, I'm going to recommend give everyone one plus one influence. Well, plus one influence, okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's everybody within six inches of honor, including honor herself, okay. is going to gain plus one influence. So, all so she's going to be at seven influence. Okay. Stupidly good. That. The monkey will be at one. Monkey's at one. Flint will be at four. I'm sorry, Mallet will be at four. Mallet's four. And, and Harmony honor, will be Harmony, at two. The sister. Okay. okay. And now you can just sit there. So here's the play. Basically what you're going to do okay. is you're going to scoot this guy out of the way. Okay. Walk up to, f like, slide your way over to Friday. Take the ball from Friday. And then basically kind of walk her down this way and kick a goal. Okay. It can happen. <laughs> it can happen, people. Uh, yeah, we got, a lot, we got a full house tonight, Diz. Uh, I assume it involved guild ball and AOEs because someone said AOE and hearth in the same sentence. Yeah, there's a farmer's game going on right next to us. Uh, we will beef up the uh, the Wi-Fi in here and actually stream two games. Oh my god, that would <laughs> be, be so crazy. good. Anyway, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and, and we're going to take the first attack on uh, on Stave here. Because we want to proc a ton of shit. Okay, okay so, now, so what's your attack? Honor's attack is six. Okay, right? So we're going to start with six dice. Okay. Okay. Then... Um, you have one crowd out for the monkey, so add one okay. dice for the monkey, and then you also have assist marbles. What does that say? So, one to trait, assist marble, when making an attack against an animal, uh, enemy model engaged by the name model, this model gains plus one attack and plus one damage to the playbook damage result. That is right, sir. All right. So you will gain so, an additional die from Monkey yes, Shines. Um, I told you people, like, beware the monkey. The monkey <laughs> is freaking key to this team. You put the monkey in the right place, and Honor slides in there, and people are like, what the fuck? How do you do 10 damage in one hit? And I'm like, bam! <laughs> bam! All right, so anyways. Okay, so we got eight dice. Eight dice, and you need okay. twos. Let's see what happens. I'm going to spend one to counter, and let's see Ooh, what happens. We got two away, but then the rest. So the rest hit. So you got six hits. That's exactly what you need. Okay. So just so you know, I spent one momentum okay. to counter. Okay. So it's very important to knock me down if you can, because that will make sure I cannot counterattack you. So with her playbook here. So you can go across six columns. Her knockdown is all the way out on five. Five. So let's do so, that. So we're just going to knock him down. Knock him down. Good call, sir. So that totally takes my counter away. <clears throat> so now, we're going to start to tack around him and eventually take the ball from Friday. Okay. Okay, so let's attack him. That was one away to do that. Okay. And let's attack him again. Let's do it again. Would it yep. be the same dice? Same Six dice. Six plus one, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the assist from Marble. Yep. Correct? So. Ooh. Everything, well, one Why miss. Seeing, so you got six one. hits. So you got full playbook again. All right. You should be rolling eight dice. Roll one more dice because Roll I am knocked down. Gotcha. There you go. So now you have a wrap. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you can come all the way back all around, way back around to here. and do one extra damage. Okay. And then, and you can pick any other single result. Um, I'm going to recommend you do the one double dodge. Okay. Uh, because that's going to give you a momentum for one. Okay. It's also you're also going to do a damage to me, okay. and you're going to do another damage to me uh, coming around. All right. So now we're going to move you two inches to here to there right okay. so guess where you're at right now you're just close enough to you know who so you see what we're doing we're like sliding around this dude we're gonna take the ball from her All right she can try to counter you but who cares so these influence Still stays with her, right? Yep, you still have six influence. Six influence? Mm -hmm. And then how far do I need to be out? You need to be six from the goal. Okay. So you need to get to there. Now, can she move still? Yes. Well, no. We're going to use a bunch of dodging to get there. So do I... So what What do you mean by that now? Is it, do I need to attack her? Yes, you should and attack then, her. And then try and to screw her slowly? Her. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so spend an influence, right? Spend an influence to attack her. Okay, and then her attack is six. She is going to try to, she's going to spend one momentum to tack, tackle the ball back. Try to tackle the ball back. So six, and there's no crowd outs. Okay. So just six. Just straight up yep. six. Yep, and Friday is, hold on, she gets defensive. So you need fives. Okay. Because she's next to, to Spigot. Ooh. Any of a momentous tackle on one, that's all you really want pretty difficult but oh my Ooh, gosh you didn't get it no yikes okay no it was ugly that's not bad that's actually not that's okay uh she's gonna go ahead and uh counter uh oh. so she has four attacks uh no crowd outs coming your way uh she needs three and two armor so miss yes. oh she did nothing whoa man <laughs> all right keep going try right. it again try it again mm -hmm. spend one spend one Okay, we need a five. In fact, you know what? Bonus time it. Spend there you go. One? Or one. Two? You can only spend one on a bonus time. So give yourself another die. Another an extra die. Come on, we need that five, man. Can I pull that insurance from the bonus time there? So oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Me. Now Honor me. is choking. Ah. That's a result, guys. You're going to have to do it again. Yeah. Okay, let's keep trying. Oh my god. Trying. This, is, this is terrifying. I shouldn't have to, I Should feel I bad. bonus time? Yes. Uh, Friday yes. has the ball right now, this model. So she's trying to take the ball, ball from that model. She needs she needs two fives, honestly, to do this. Pretty two difficult, fives. though. You got two oh, fives. Perfect. There you go. So you can tackle the ball. Bam. Give yourself a momentum back. Okay. So you have exactly enough to score. Three? Okay. Yes, because here's what you're going to do. You are going to... Now you're going to go back to attacking this dude. Okay. Spend one? You, yes. So we're going to proc stuff off that dude. So six dice plus two is eight, and then one more. So you're going to have nine dice against this guy. Wow. Sorry, you're going to have eight because of a crowd out. You have a crowd out against you. Right here? Yep, and you need twos. Get lots of twos. Get that. Oh, oh, that wasn't one, a lot two, of twos. Two. I got five. Okay. Five. So you could so, go. Yeah. All right, so what you're going to do... What I would recommend doing is you're going to take a mom that momentous push dodge okay. that's in the middle of your playbook. Okay. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. This is a, this is where Guild Ball gets really tricky and part of the reason why you can't really remotely play this game. So you're going to go one to there, and we're going to push this guy with you. We're basically going to drag him drag to the goal him with almost. us. And you can see you're within two inches of kicking range, right? Okay. So what result are you looking for on this chart? On this next die, this next super, super important... You forgot to give yourself. Which one? That. Let's give it to him. To uh, her. Actually, give it to Flint. I think I gave it to... I I think I added one of these already, though. No, you didn't. Oh, really? We got it. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Nelson, hide the sake so Octave has to look for it. And while he's distracted, kick a goal. That's a good... <laughs> He, That's a good. He's, uh, he has the sake next to him, though. That'll hey, pretty, uh, that'll be pretty difficult. I play better drunk. Everyone knows this. I play better <laughs> drunk. Anyway, I do kick better after a beer. All right. 
Okay. Okay. So, so what result are we looking for? We need, we need to go two inches. Probably that one, right? Okay. Two. So we need to score two hits, two hits. at least. Get that. On this dude. Okay. So you're and you're gonna get ten dice to do this, and you need two. Ten. Yes. That's a lot. Again, I, I whoop sometimes with these with these dice. Okay, <laughs> you will become friends with the dice. All right, so you got eight. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you wrap. You get to do a lot of things, sir. So we're going down this column five, and then stops here. Yep. Does that mean I can push and dodge again? So like what you can do is you can select that result twice, uh -huh. and go a total of four, and be within tap in range. Huh? That's amazing. Freaking honor. Okay, so you're gonna go there. I'm gonna take two more damage on Stave, and you are perfectly in position to tap the ball in, and you have one left. So you're gonna spend that one, okay. and you would also gain two momentum selecting those two results. Okay. So now you're gonna spend. Well, you have to spend at least one momentum to kick. Okay. You can spend an extra one for an extra die. It's up to you. Just in case. Just in case. So here what we are go. You so five die tap in. You need three. You need a single three result. Woo. No All pressure right. here. No pressure. Because uh, I've heard Andrew said uh, five dice. You need a was a two. You need a three. Three. Okay. We've seen Andrew miss this. Oh, there oh, and he got it. So if you actually, if you ever do get two sixes, mm -hmm. it's called a screamer, and you get two momentum instead of one. So you're gonna give yourself a momentum. It's gonna be, and then we do All this. Right. Yeah. So Mason's up big. Who are you? Okay. There we go. Big score for the Masons. You can do it. All right. So now I get to throw the ball in again. Back to Friday, I hope, and try to score some sort of retaliation goal here. So within 10, I'm going to put the ball right there. Yep. And we're going to throw the ball in this way. All right. And... Yellow will be direction four five. Zombies get four a five. For those of you who remember enemy mine. Four five. Whoop. And I better just kick this damn goal, it looks like. I do not have a good pathway to this. No, Alright. Alright, so it's my turn to go. We're gonna go with Friday. She does have shadow like. <laughs> shadow like to put myself there. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to shadow like and put myself here. Congo. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to be a little risky. Nelson, send the rabbit baboon after Friday. She can't kick the baboon if the baboon has her leg in its mouth. <laughs> hey, I said some bias in this comment section. I, I, I feel like everybody wants a certain team to win. <laughs> All right. So, so because I started within Spigot's aura, I get plus two, plus two to my move. So I'm going to spend one to jog ten inches. Turn inches. I'm gonna, uh, so, so I'm going to go four to there. And I can go like six to there. And be right there with, wow. with Harmony. That's quite a distance. Mm, and Harmony's five zero right now. It could happen. Or I should have just walked up and kicked the goal. I should just walk up. And then one damage knockdown. 
I should just walk up 10 and kick a goal. Kick the goal. No, I'm going to do dumb things. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so spend one to attack uh, Harmony. Uh, so attack armor's four. Defense harmony's defense five. No need, armor. No armor, so I need fives of any nice. kind. Any fives will do. Okay. Having a cat fight here. One Ooh, five. One five. Um, I'll do one damage. Okay. Oh god. I actually need two fives to do this. This is not a good idea. Let's so do it. Harmony's right down to nine. Alright. Go again. Second one. And only have one momentum. Yeah. Okay. This could be bad. Bam. Oh, Ooh, I'll do another one six. damage. Not Armory's good enough. Eight HP. Not good enough. So I'm going to have to spend this and this to kick the goal. It's kind of a bad idea. Uh, oh, I should have grabbed uh, I should have grabbed the cat, but that's okay. Uh, so my kick is 3-8, but it's minus one because... Yeah. Because I'm engaged. You know, you know what I'm about. This is bad, so I need a four. <laughs> wow, that's fair. Damn. Ah, okay. <laughs> Congo. You guys, look, I scored it anyways, oh, right? Oh, dang. Bam! 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 Go! Okay, so another goal oh. coming back this way. We have suddenly made it a game again. And you get to kick off the ball. And let's see what the Masons will do next. <laughs> Kanko has the strict chess right. rule. <laughs> it's chess rules. It would be if it's uh, if it was a tournament. Somebody would hold you to that. Okay. All right. So we have to throw the ball in, so right? So you have to throw the ball in. Ten inches? Up to ten inches. Okay. And which way? From Any here. way you want from the goal. From the goal. And can I throw it in here? Yeah. Yes. Um. You might throw it behind him. You want some sake, Jose? <laughs> Jose, okay. this is your chance All to have some sake. Finally. Uh, it only works if it's a kingdom cut. That's the real. This is this is the chance to have sake. Right Everyone now. has sake already. <laughs> oh, Jose. All right, is Jose's gonna have a sake. That's right, people. All right. Right, I need to have one anyway. That's only. <laughs> so we gotta be fair. Where'd your cup go? I don't think oh, Jose uh, has a cup. You savages! Oh, I have a cup here. No, it's okay. Fuck it. No, we got. Okay. So, make sure it's not being used to paint. Yeah, make sure there's no paint on the bottom there. That one was questionable. <laughs> That'll be for paint. Okay, now Nelson, Friday is all alone. Build a wall around her. Build a wall around her. Build that wall. <gasps> All right. All right. Just a little, right? Are you going? Are you going? Are you going big? You going with me? Yeah! Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah. Look, Nelson, I finally cut my alcohol. He finally. Oh, you did. Somebody you take a picture of, of of Jose with Saki, yeah. so we can finally we can finally put this to rest. Can you hand this to Mark? All right. All right, come pie, bitches. There you go. As long as it's oh. acrylic paint, you're good. Wow, you guys are downing both of those. To the head. All right, Jeez. let's go. Uh, so now we're going to scatter the ball. Okay. Now, that direction, distance, is that okay? Oh, would you roll five? No, no, not yet. I haven't rolled that was, it. Oh, you haven't rolled it. So, we need five so five to the two? Two. Just so it's going to go, so from there, five, two inches, you could actually, he can have possession of it. Okay. Whoop. There you go. All right. All righty. So now you got, this is interesting. So now you have Mallet on full influence. You got Mallet on four with oh, the ball no. and two momentum. Oh, no. You can do dope shit right now. You can do dope shit and two momentum. That's the, that's the kicker. What shall he do? Don't help. Hey, what's up, Cameron? 
We're gonna play blacksmiths at some point. Oh. We're gonna play this. We're gonna play blacksmiths, dude. This yeah, we're maybe doing you should, the, uh, We're doing the damn thing. Yeah, you should demo uh, blacksmith right after this with Jose or something. We're doing. <laughs> we're doing blacksmiths. Yeah, we we got the blacksmith lined up on the side here. I'll do overlooking it. Overlooking the the stadium. All right. So. Okay. Um. Okay. So you need four points to win the game, Nelson. Okay. So we're looking at a goal. Okay. So now. Possibly. Quick question. I mm -hmm. know we never um, went. Um, when, what about the rules? Rules wise, like how many points do you usually? Usually go to twelve. Okay. A demo is already over by now because once you get to eight, you're usually done. Mm, okay. Drink it up. That's right, so. sir. We got to clear out because tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. It's oh be yeah. Big. Tomorrow is oh gonna my be God. fun, guys. The, the, the mechanic. I leaked. The, I leaked the drinking mechanic last night on on Twitch. And only one person knows it. <laughs> only one person knows it because Andrew hopped on too late. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay. So, can I let's, score let's... the final goal? Yes, you can, but it's going to be hard as shit. Let's try it. But you can do it. Let's try it. I'm going to so, recommend some... So, Malice here's, currently has here's seven inches ones, right? to the goal. Okay. Right there. You need, you need your model to get to there. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any dodges. That's part of the problem. Yeah. We're going to do Don't Fear, though. So, you could try for a snapshot, which is what I would recommend doing. Try to, like, so we're going to come around to here okay. and basically farm a bunch of momentum off him and try to snapshot off of uh, Honor. Uh, honor, okay. So it's going to be so good. All right. So, what you're going to want to do... Whatever plays, Boom. Yeah. So you're going to want to jog him to there. Yeah, Which, uh, he has 4-6, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jog. Actually, that's 4. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm worried you said I'll be important for tomorrow's game. If I'm drinking, I don't think you'll be much help. Okay, well, I'm kind of banking on that as well. <laughs> All right. So, and you got 70 here. All right. We're do oh, my God. We're doing razzle-dazzle. That's what we're doing. Okay, so now you're gonna start unloading on homeboy right here. Start pounding right. with so we're gonna spend uh, one, one. Mm -hmm. and then attack. His attack is five. Okay. Do you have a crowd out? Do you have another guy helping you there? Oh, that's right. You got the monkey. The monkey. Guys. The monkey and you like have a defense invisible. two model that's knocked down, so you okay. get another die. A bonus die. Yep. Similar you get twos to, and twos. Almost similar to Batman. Lots of twos are good. Hey, what movies did you bring, man? Miss one, but okay. oh, miss two, but five. Oh, good. I can you? You gotta put it on that laptop over there. I'll uh, I'll boot that up for you. So, All right. So get five. Five total. I see how it is. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're working on things. I hope I have room. Oh shit. I'm gonna. I might have to delete shit. I might have it. We'll see. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, uh, so, so what did you pick? Malice. You want momentum. Don't forget damage. You want momentum. I would take that. I would take. Uh, honestly, I would take this very first, first result, one? and I would take singled out. Okay. Okay. So that's going to give you momentum, and it's going to give you. Uh, it's going to give you plus two dice on your next attack. Okay, because well, this is uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to farm the shit out of momentum. We need lots of momentum right here. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, nah, All right. Okay. So does that mean I still spend another one? Yep. To attack him again. And since I have singled out, I get a plus two on attack. That is correct, sir. Look at him learning that game. Look so at the brain on him. Five. He's going. Okay, so we're gonna be at. So we got five. Five plus one. Plus from one for the monkey. monkey marble. Plus one for him plus being knocked one, down. Being knocked down. And then, and then plus two for two out. From a singled out. Roll. Oh snap! So six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dice, guys. We'll what, see what you we'll about to get here. dunked on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, okay. So lots of twos, lots and lots of twos. Ooh, wow! Fantastic. I only Still one. good. That's that's fantastic. That's total of four damage. Yeah, should be eight. So you got eight. So you're definitely gonna wrap. Yeah. And we need lots and lots of blue. So we get. That's five, six, seven, eight. 
Does that so mean you can get one? So what you should probably do is do just pick nothing. this result twice. Okay. That momentum is two twice. So okay. you're going to give yourself two momentum doing this. Okay. Um, and I'm going to take a total of two damage off this. So. Okay. Da -da -da -da. All right. Okay. You're almost done. You got one more attack you can take. One more again. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is still like um, ten dice or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So five plus one for marble. Uh, we didn't pick singled out this time, do we? You did. Okay. Singled out, still going. As okay. long as it's for and the rest of this turn. For the rest of this turn? Yep. Wow, that's amazing. So five, one for marble, one for down character, right? Knockdown, mm -hmm. and then two for singled, singled out. out. I think you're rolling ten dice for some reason. You should be rolling ten. Six, eight, nine. Hmm. Yeah, because you rolled ten last time. Let's see. Five, five six, six uh, seven, seven, eight, eight nine. Nine. Yeah, sorry. I rolled nine. nine. Yeah. I think I, I rolled the triple green. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh wow. Oh, no misses. Oh, oh no my misses God. this time. Okay. This is ugly. Oof. You got plenty of momentum now, so let's so try for, let's try to bake in some damage. So yeah. nine, you can come nine. out here to four. Okay. And then come all the way back to three, so you can do a total of seven damage. Okay. Damn. Suddenly, Homeboy might actually die, but you're probably going to win the game before you kill him. Okay. If you want, it's up to you. Because what if we're going for the big play, yeah. what you can do is you can spend your last influence mm -hmm. to pass to honor, to honor and, and snapshot. Okay. S snapshot needing two threes. Okay. So good. You should do it. Yeah? You should do okay, it. Okay, let's do it. Let's make this big so, play. Okay, so, so you're going to pass the ball. Influence, right? Okay, your yeah, kick okay. is what? The kick on mallet is 2-6. Two, 2-6, six. Two, six, right? Okay. And what... Well, look, you're not quite there. Hmm. Ah. Oh. But wait, we're forgetting something. We're forgetting... Football legend. Oh. So you're kicking 3-7. Right to there. Okay. Okay, so you're going to spend... And spend the spend the momentum for the hell okay. of it. That way you can you get four dice. Four dice. You need a four. I don't even want to look. I don't want to look. Get a four here. Don't look. Oh, nice. Okay, he I got, got it. five, five, and okay. six. So now you're gonna gain the momentum here. Okay. You're gonna spend two momentum immediately. Okay. Actually, spend three so you three. can just bonus. Bonus time a snapshot. Bonus time. Okay, so, so now you're gonna roll off Honor's dice. She has four kick dice. Okay. And then, and then plus I one. one for yep. a moment is total five, So you five, need right? two threes, right? Two the tap-in still this. works on a, on, on, a, on a snapshot, right, Andrew? Tap-in still works. Uh, you, you still get a tap-in bonus off a snapshot. Yeah, but it would just cancel out because tap-in is... Or snapshots. Snapshots, two successes. Oh, Thanks, so you need, Hongo. You need two threes. No sweat. All right, I need two threes no out of five. No pressure, sir. I'm not... Oh man, this is this is scary. <laughs> My heart is pounding right now. This is for the goal, right? <laughs> do it, Nelson. Let's do it. Oh, and he gets it. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> that was fun. Damn, <laughs> Masons win again. You know, we're just gonna have to lock it. For the He's gonna have to lock it. No, I did that no, shit on purpose. No. <laughs> <laughs> we need that. We need that. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, All right, fun. sir. What did you think? It was very fun. What do you think, of Guild Ball? It's a, uh, it's a lot of actions. It's a pretty, on. yeah. It's a pretty precise game. You um, know, your position is quite a bit. You're you're looking for a lot of times. Players are kind. You're kind of um, you're kind of telegraphing your uh, your play, right? You kind of right. have to. You kind of have it like worked out in your mind at the beginning of the turn. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I need to accomplish by the end of the turn. Right. Um, and it doesn't always work out that way because other people are trying to fuck with your program, and you got commenters <laughs> saying you should lose Octave. <laughs> Damn it, bastards! Yeah, it's definitely bastards. a very fun game. How um, dare you? Anyway, <laughs> it's it's really manageable too. Like um, I play a lot of different tabletop miniature games now, and. Even Batman, I thought it was easy, but uh, you get six players, like what well, I said, six previous um, stream said, you mm -hmm. get six players, very manageable. I love about the influence um, counter that's assigned to each character, kind of mm -hmm. like Raise the Plan for Batman, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's very easy to learn. Real slick game. Very easy to learn, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, 
I, I'll, I just need to um, go home and research all these individual characters' um, yeah, character if traits. You, and, if you, um, what you can do is on your phone, okay. you can download an app called GB Scrum. Okay. And it has all the cards for every player. And you can actually play the game with GB Scrum. I'll put it in the, uh, in the chat here. If you guys really, GB Scrum is an awesome app. You can get it for uh, Android or iPhone, uh, and it has a stat for every player. You can actually track your damage and everything with it, and it actually has a rule book kind of baked into it, wow. which is sweet. So, wow. Good anyways, stuff. Good stuff. Okay. any other comments before we? We're, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna um, we're gonna take this down. Uh, and then we're, I'm gonna come back with. Well, you gotta show the, the show it to the crowd. Can I move oh my, this a little yeah, go bit? For it. It's the look who's overwatching the stadium. We got the brand new painted guys. Oh, right it's gonna be the debut. Look at these guys the they're debut ready to join in. So it's fantastic. The it's gonna be so dope. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, much appreciated. I'm not guys. being paid today. That report the game to the event. That's right, Congo. See, I was on your side the whole time. Cause yeah. the Masons need to win. Anyway, so we're gonna reset this. Uh, we'll be back with blacksmiths. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks, everyone. If you're on Twitch, we're just I'm just gonna leave the Twitch going. Okay. Stay tuned. All right.